What's up guys? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung A6 that came out for Boost Mobile. We don't know the release date yet and the price of it, but we can make some speculations that I'll give you guys toward the end of the video. But now, first of all, let's go ahead and look at the phone itself. Uh, unfortunately, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, J7 Star that came out for Metro PCS, very disappointing compared to the A6 that's come out with Boost. I'm hoping that Metro will also get a model similar to the Galaxy A6. I don't even know why they're still carrying the J models. They'll stop the J series and start going with the A series like Boost is currently doing. The reason I like it the most is because of the display itself from the top to the bottom. It makes you kind of feel like you're in 2019, 2018. Unlike J7 Star that you came out, it kind of remind me of that I'm still back at 2016 because of the design and all of that. But anyways, let's go ahead and now look at it. It's super AMOLED display. That's great news that they're actually bringing that back to mid-range phones. It's an Android 8.0 has an enhanced camera experience, 16 megapixel with big speed. So if you take a picture of anything, has AI technology, it'll translate some things for you or tell you that where you can get that product if you take a picture of a product. It's good in low light. If you're taking pictures at night, you'll actually see them a little bit more clear. Amazing AMOLED display, rear camera with f1.7 aperture. That basically gives you a lot of light coming into the aperture so you can take better photos at places where it's kind of dark. So this is really cool. Elevate your selfies in any light. Shoes from three levels of brightness with the adjustable LED flash. So you do have front facing flash and a 16 megapixel front camera. That's insane. Literally unheard of. I honestly, we we're just talking about how the J7 has a 13 megapixel. The J7 Star has a 30 megapixel. This has 16 megapixels. See more and hold less. Bring your favorite pictures, videos, websites to the 5.6 Super AMOLED Infinity display. So the Infinity display, meaning you're getting this 18 by nine ratio from the top to the bottom while having bright, rich colors, more space for what matters. 32 gigabytes of built-in storage with 400 gigabytes of expandable storage. Unlocks fast. So pretty cool, you have your fingerprint sensor that you can use or facial recognition to unlock the phone. Multitasking with ease, doesn't really say too much about the RAM, but if they, they're putting a lot of emphasis on multitasking, so I'm hoping this is rocking a three or four gigabyte of RAM. A smarter way to use your phone, again, this is what I was talking about with Big Speed Vision. So you're able to take a picture of something and it'll show you the price of how much it costs or where you can actually buy it. All right, so now looking at the battery, it's 3000 milliamp. That's not, even the J7 Star had a 3300 milliamp battery. So I'm curious why they did that. Uh, it's also not a removable battery, so you can't take it out and put another one. You have a processor that's 1.6 gigahertz. The carrier right now, it's currently on boost. Again, I hope Metro by T-Mobile will bring that in to its line of phones. Uh, the camera in the front is 16 megapixels as well with LED flash and it has a 1.9 aperture uh, front facing camera. That's pretty cool. So you actually have more light uh, and a better camera, which is surprising on the front than you do have on the rear camera. It's something that I have to mention also is that this is 720p. So if you are watching videos on your phone, it's not gonna be that 1080 HD resolution. It'll still look pretty good. And at the same time, it will save you a lot of battery life. All right, so the video recording resolution, it's 1080p and you can go up to 30 frames per second, 32 gigabytes of internal memory. It is compatible with 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. It does have the 3.5 millimeter ear jack. It is NFC compatible, 8.0 Oreo, and it does have the gyroscope, the compass, the fingerprint sensor. And honestly, looking at the design of the phone itself looks amazing. As you can see here, it says Boost Mobile. Let's go ahead and actually look at the bottom of the phone. Yep, it does have the USB-C port. And as you can see here, you have the fingerprint sensor, which is pretty cool that not even the J7 has that currently. All right, guys, there you have it. So in conclusion, this phone is predicted to come out anytime in the next coming weeks. Hopefully sometime in October, it will be released. And the price range is anywhere in between 199 and 250. I'm hoping it goes into that range. Otherwise, really hard for somebody to really get this uh, when they could easily get the LG Stylo 4 instead. But at the end of the day, I do like this a little bit better than the J7 Star that's coming out for Metro PCS. 
If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below in the description. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification button so you can be notified when I upload the full official details once this phone is released and I will do a full review about the phone. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.